You might not believe it, but one of the oldest creatures on the planet is a cockroach. This evil insect has been on this planet way before the dinosaur. Cockroaches have been on the earth for more than 350 million years. But the oldest dinosaur was founded 231 million years ago. And 65 million years ago, the dinosaurs went extinct. But cockroaches don't go extinct. You kind of have to know about these things a little. In this long time that this creature has been on the planet, they have turned into 4,600 different types. All types of cockroaches. There's a lot of them that we never see because they live in places where humans don't live. But 30 out of the 4,600 types of cockroaches live around humans. The most common one you see is the American cockroach. This cockroach started his life in Africa, not America, but in the 16th century, it hopped on a boat and made its way all the way to America. And it was founded in America first. And that is why it got the name American cockroach. But this thing doesn't know any borders. This cockroach lives everywhere on planet Earth, except Antarctica. It probably didn't find a ship that's going to Antarctica. But even if it went there, it probably wouldn't survive the cold. Cockroaches is probably the most popular creature that enters your home uninvited. And if the situation is good for it, they will stay in that house and turn anywhere dark and dirty into their house. Since humans have figured out what this little creature is, they've been trying their hardest to get rid of it. They pretty much want to eradicate them. But however many you kill, we can't even lower their population. We've tried all types of ways of killing them, from stepping on them to spraying them with dangerous chemicals. Any way you get rid of these things, they will make a way back. In the Nagasaki and Hiroshima bombing, anyone in the blast vicinity was dead. The only creatures that survived that nuclear blast were the cockroaches that were underground. And the ones that were on the surface didn't die of radioactive waves, but they died from the fire and the shock wave. Meaning, the radioactive waves does not affect these things at all. What is going on? Why is it so hard to get rid of this creature? Scientists gave this creature a nickname. They call it the Master Survivor. Between all the insects, cockroaches have the strongest sense of smell and can smell food and all types of things from afar. With this small size, it has 150 smell glands, meaning more than any insect on the planet. And next to this strong sense of smell, it has 544 taste glands. The food that these creatures choose doesn't have to be anything important. They will eat anything from the best meat, cheese, or sugar, cardboard. Cardboard is one of its favorite foods. It can also eat books. If it finds books, it won't leave it alone. It even eats clipped nails. It loves rotted meat, drinks the blood of any creature, and also the feces of all types of animals. Even if all these are not there, there's no worries. They will eat other dead cockroaches. This creature is so cruel that if it sees one of its colleagues that have been hurt, it will eat it like a hamburger. One of the reasons that this creature has been on the planet for so long is the reason that it's not a picky eater at all. It will even eat poisonous plants. Poisonous plants that will easily kill any animal. These cockroaches 
have anti-venom in their body and they won't let any poison kill them. We could say the strongest immune system belongs to this creature. I hope you're not disgusted yet because it's good to know what this creature does and what it's up to usually and everybody should know about it. So if we take one of these guys and cut the head off, what would happen? You think it would die? No, it doesn't die that easily. It won't grow a new head, but it will close up where the head was cut off and it will survive for one week without eyes or mouth or antennas. And after a week, it dies because it doesn't have a mouth and can't eat anything. This creature in its lifetime reskins a few times. And after it drops the old skin, the vision and antenna get stronger and if it lost a limb or arm or anything, it will grow back and they basically rebuild themselves. So what can we do to not be attacked by this thing and so it doesn't take over our house? Do we have to spray poison everywhere? Do we have to have a pair of slippers on us at all times? We can't eradicate them at all like that. But there is an easier way. If you don't want this thing to bother you anymore, you have to clean your house very thoroughly. This cockroach does not like clean spaces at all. And the more dirty, the better the life. If you put a rotten out meat next to a good meat, you will know damn well that the cockroach will choose the rotten out meat because it loves disgusting things. Don't leave crumbs of food anywhere in your house. Try to clean every little corner of your house, even under desks and cabinets. Make sure your trash can has a lid, or if it doesn't and it have fresh food, take it out quickly because the smell of fresh food in a trash can attracts these guys. If you have a basement and it's a moist environment, these guys will be your guest. If you don't want them to live in your basement, keep it clean and dry. And don't leave any type of food in the open. If you have a sink and don't use it, plug it up because cockroaches can come up from the sink and the sewer system. It could even come out of your shower or toilet. If your house is clean, you should have no worries that these things will come to your house. These guys kind of like to own the world because they say when the time we were here, nobody else was here and the only creature that survived it all is us. So we have to be everywhere. But we will keep our place clean and get rid of these guys.